Hey guys, what's up? So, I wanted to see if uh, I can get like an extra antenna going here um, for my uh, SDR play. And I have some old telephone, that's my existing. I got a 40 meter, 10 meter, and like a scanner antenna and a TV antenna. But I have some old T1 wiring that I had. I used to have a T1 in my house a long time ago. So I have six, well, three pair or six wires going up to the telephone pole and then they go across the street and they go into those boxes over there. So I want to see if I can hook up, a, kind of create like a long wire antenna with that old wiring that goes up there. Um, so actually I am a IT guy so I, I deal with these kind of wires all day long but before I even hook up my my SDR I'm going to, I mean I, I would never hook this up to a radio um, and transmit on these wires because through that would be bad news. I mean, we could be putting this is only just, just as a receive antenna, like an emergency antenna, in case you had to do it. All right, so this is actually where they come in right here. So I gotta say, I do actually have quite a pair, few pair of wire in here. Um, this was my T1 on here. And, um, or I can't remember, this is the phone line. No, I think this was the T1 line. So this this was my existing, okay, no, this, this is my analog wire I had a long time ago. But uh, the main thing is you wanna make sure there's no voltage on the line. And I wouldn't definitely wouldn't have this hooked up to an expensive transceiver, just because in case they ever cross connect the wires again, you're going to be sending voltage 48 volts down that line, and into your uh, transceiver, which is probably going to burn it out. So um, first, I'm going to hook up my multimeter, and make sure there's no voltage on here. But yeah, this is only just going to be as a like a long wire antenna slash emergency. So really, this is actually probably not a good idea. You probably shouldn't be doing this if you don't know what you're doing. Or if you don't have any experience in this stuff. All right. Okay, that's my ground wire. Okay, so good grounds. Okay, so I guess I can just use my existing analog wires. It's already connected. So, all right, cool. I'll get it going. See what's up. All right, so this is the reason why you have to uh, check the voltage. This thing actually is putting out 52 volts DC. So. Um, yeah, that's going to fry your uh, SDR or your uh, RTL dongle, whatever you have. I actually have a RTL dongle. I also have the uh, SDR Play Pro. I also have old um, inside wiring I could use too. So, But uh, yeah, I want to get on the telephone pole if I can because it's higher up and out. So, But yeah, remember, no transmission. <laughs> Just for reception. That's all I'm going to do with this. So... All right, so I'm actually going to wrap up the orange pair, which had the power on it. But I was just thinking I could probably, <laughs> I could probably power something off that free electricity, you know. But uh, yeah, 52 volts. Can't draw a lot of amps, but all right. So here we go. So I think I'm going to start off with the blue wire. I'm going to feed this through into my uh, SDR uh, play. Yeah, so this little box that's under my computer right there. So there's a screen right there. I have it connected according to that thing right there. So I have my ground and I have this little loop jumper. That's a little loop jumper right there. And that's the blue wire. And I actually taped up the one with the, the voltage on it so I wouldn't get it on there. So if this thing goes puff, don't do it this way. <laughs> it's about a 200 hour box too. So, all right, we'll see. All right guys, let's get this thing started here. Alright, so there we go. This is a uh, antenna A. That's that scanner antenna that I showed you. And what are we at? We're on uh let's go to uh 20 meter. Okay, so that's the scanner antenna that I have on the roof, and let's go back to uh this is SDR console, I don't know if I mentioned that or not. This is my N fed antenna. Uh it's kind of dialed in from forty to ten meter. And it uh, has like a 15 foot counterpoise, 20 foot counterpoise, grounded. Yeah, kind of goes on and off. And then let me show you the uh, new antenna. This is the uh, high PS antenna, high Z antenna. So I, I don't get anything. So it's, actu it's actually worse at lower frequencies. So let me go down to um, favorites, go to 40 meter band here. So I'm on the, uh, it gets better. 
change the antenna back to my, uh, this is my NFED antenna. Random wire with counter boys. Alright. And let's go to the high penis antenna. So obviously a game. Yeah, I was actually reading online that the, the antenna's like not filtered, so it's, you're gonna pick up more uh, background noise. Alright, so what it seemed like where this thing really shined was in the 80 meter up band. So I never used to pick up anything before. Um, I'll penis and let's go back to 10 at B. See, I don't even get anything in that kind of range with my uh, NFED antenna. But with the telephone wire antenna, I get the uh, a lot more noise and, and signal I never got before. I, mean, I don't know if it's any good or not. So, just start playing with it. So, all right, let's go to um, back to antenna B, and we'll switch. We'll go to 160 meter. Bas basically nothing. Now let's go back to the telephone wire antenna. Huge difference. So at the lower bands. HF bands, it seems to really, really kicks ass. Like before, I wouldn't even get a signal at all. You saw, so. So I gotta play with it, but uh, I can, I mean, I have a bunch of different lines I can test. I mean, actually, I didn't even touch my T1 lines. All right, cool, so it does work. I mean, I definitely wouldn't transmit on it though. Um, this is just for emergencies only. I, I don't know what the laws are even about this, you know, but uh, make sure you don't have any voltage on the line. So, I mean, it does work in an emergency situation, I think. It definitely sucked at the lower bands, so, though. I mean, the upper bands. Let's say they go back to. Yeah, let's go. Let's try. Uh, if you had to get some FM radio, let's try that. Yeah, it's horrible. That's kind of a mental situation to be in because they're way back. The doctors ran away. Okay, with let's go switch over to my scanner and see the now difference. Five games back to the wild card and lots of clubs that cover Philadelphia, New York, and Chicago. And now today, the Padres will have the Petco Park yeah, debut. Yeah, so it's only only good for the lower hand, or HF Richards, bands. That's what it seems like. So. Milwaukee is Petco Park debut today against the left-hander Robbie Ray the and the Padres beat in April. How much the Hard Hats national anthem today is sung by U.S. Army specialist Jazz Oliver. Brought to you by Helmets to Hard Cats. Oh, all right. Connecting veterans with promising building and constructing careers here at Petco Park before the ballgame, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, cool. It does anthem. work.